Hello, thanks for joining me. Before our move, I was staying at my parents' house and I wanted to give my mom's closet a little refresh. It was already fairly organized, but I thought I could make it just a bit more functional. So I put on an episode of one of my favorite TV shows in the background and I started to get to work. This closet is located in her crafting room and it's sort of a catch-all. It's not dirty by any means and there is some organization to it already, but over time things just don't always seem to find their way back to the original spot. So to start with, I removed everything. This way you can see everything that you're working with to make the whole process a bit simpler. And before I started sorting through the items, I wanted to give the shelves and trim a good pass with the Swiffer Duster and then vacuum the carpet in the closet. Here I'm just sorting out her various shower curtains and hooks. She likes to change the curtain out periodically, and this way all the items can be together in one place. My mom also has a collection of little art projects for my niece and nephews, and the small pieces make it hard to find what you're looking for, so I just use some Ziploc bags to sort the items by project, and then set them all in a basket together. This way they can just pull out the bag they're looking for and not have to sort through the rest of the pieces. I didn't purchase any organizational items for this. I just wanted to make use of the containers that were already on hand. And besides, the closet has doors and you don't really see the containers anyhow, so it's not necessary that they all match perfectly. I also sorted through some gift bags and tissue paper. Gift bags especially aren't always cheap, so it's nice to reuse them when you can. And the red container I got years ago and is meant for magazines, but it works perfectly to hold items like this upright. And the blue one is just an old cardboard box that was just cut similarly and serves the same purpose. One thing my mom did decide to get rid of were these old scrapbooking and card making magazines. Some were a bit dated and she didn't use them so there was no point of them taking up space anymore. To the recycling they went. This room used to be mine growing up and I kept my shoes in these little cubbies. Now I'm just placing some of the smaller containers down here. I made sure most everything that went down here was in a container that could easily be pulled out so that no items got stuck in the back where you couldn't see. My mom also keeps books here for my niece and nephews. These are my old Bernstein Bears books and I love those growing up. Was anyone else a fan? I specifically remember being obsessed with their messy room one. I love the last few pages of illustrations of the organized room. Maybe this is where my love of organizing originated. Anyhow, I kept the books down lower where the kids could easily grab them. I tried to keep most of the bigger containers on the top shelf. 
These are items that aren't necessarily reached for on a daily basis, but can easily be reached when you need it. No digging and searching required. I moved the scrapbooks and photo albums to this shelf just because the one above was starting to bow because of the weight and this one had a little bit more support. My mom had lots of printing paper, photo paper, and things like that, so I just kept those upright on the top shelf and used an old bookend to keep them from falling. Some out-of-season clothes are also kept in this closet. I removed all the hangers and then separated the hangers by color. This way it looks a little less chaotic than having mismatched hangers all over. I also separated like items together, so dresses, jackets, sleeveless top, etc., and then tried to group by color again. It's not terribly important to do this, but I think it's just a little bit more pleasant on the eyes this way. My mom didn't have much that she wanted to get rid of, but we did find two leather jackets that were no longer her style and a box of Precious Moments collectibles that she's going to try and sell. In the end, a lot of little changes made a big difference to the overall look and functionality of this closet. And no money was spent, just a little time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it more than you know, and if you'd like to see more, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Thanks!